The Cherry Blossom, or Oka. This was the name given to the Yokozuka MXY-7. This was a human-guided kamikaze attack aircraft that was rocket-powered. It was called the Cherry Blossom, as like the flower, it cannot return to the tree once it falls. This aircraft was used in the last year of World War II in the Pacific by the Japanese. The Cherry Blossom had a limited range of about 37 kilometers, or 23 miles. It was designed to be carried to within this range of enemy ships, by a larger aircraft. Many kamikaze planes are small. They launched from large aircraft and guided by a suicide pilot. He wears no parachute. He's locked in the cockpit. His plane is stripped of landing gear and detonates with a shattering explosion on contact. The Oka saw action during the Battle of Okinawa in 1945 and was able to sink and damage some escort and transport vessels. An Allen M. Sumner class destroyer was the first Allied ship to be sunk by an Oka near Okinawa, April 12, 1945. Over the course of the war, Okas sank or damaged three ships beyond repair, significantly damaged three more ships, with a total of seven U.S. ships damaged or sunk by Okas. The biggest weakness of the Oka was its need to be carried by a bomber, and in 1945 Japanese bombers were not comfortably flown in the skies near American carrier groups. American radar was quick to detect incoming Japanese aircraft well before Oka came into range. You Japanese are all crazy. Well, you're not getting past me. The Oka's combat debut immediately highlighted the flaws in the concept. On March 21, 1945, Grumman Hellcats intercepted 16 G4M bombers carrying Oka 11s and shot down the entire group. The Okas and their pilots fell into the sea before nearing their target. Allied troops called the aircraft Baka bombs, Baka being Japanese for stupid. Baka. 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 Oka would be carried by Mitsubishi G4M bombers, often called Bettys, to within range of a target. Japanese bombers in 1945 rarely had sufficient fighter protection en route to a target, ironically due to dwindling skilled and trained pilots. But if it did come in range of an enemy, once the Oka was released from a bomber, it did become a difficult target to shoot down. The Oka would typically glide the first leg of a trip, and once under threat, the Oka pilot could fire either one of or all three of the aircraft's solid fuel rockets at once, gaining up to a speed of 1,000 kilometers an hour, or 620 miles per hour in a dive. <laughs> Due to the high risk to bombers in such attacks, later versions were designed to be launched from coastal air bases, caves, and even submarines using catapult systems, but this was never fully developed. There were several variants of Oka, but only the Model 11 saw use. It was essentially a 1200 kilogram or 2600 pound bomb with wooden wings. Interestingly, a training variant was developed fitted with a landing skid, but it was ironically unsafe to fly. So training for pilots was minimal, which reduced their effectiveness. Oka pilots were members of the Jinrai Butai, Thunder God Corps. They were fresh naval pilots with minimal training as they were to only have one mission in their lifetime. They were to augment kamikaze, or suicide squads, carrying out attacks against Allied ships, a tactic Japan officially adopted in the summer of 1944. These pilots were better known as tokotai, or special attack units to the Japanese. And they miss on a destroyer. In total, 852 Okas were built, but most did not see action due to their limited range and reliance on a bomber. 74 undertook operations at Okinawa, of which 56 were destroyed. In the end, the aircraft made little impact on America's advance towards Japan, and cost the lives of many young, brave, but brainwashed pilots. For some insight into a young man's experience being an Oka pilot, you can watch the anime Cockpit, Episode Sonic Boom Squadron from 1993. It's free on YouTube. It's short but well done. 
Overall, about 3,800 Kamikaze pilots died during the war, and more than 7,000 naval personnel were killed by such attacks. Hmm? Monsters. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this overview on the Oka, or Cherry Blossom, or Bucca, however you want to define it. I hope you have a peaceful day, and we'll see you next time. German flying bomb. The nose is one big torpedo packed with high explosive. It's easy to visualize what happens to the pilot.